Howdy peeps, Bitsu here, and welcome to the next installment of Bitsu Craft. In last episode, we got this flower farm here up and running, but I've discovered a couple of issues with that, and it's going to need a little bit of tweaking today. So let's get to her! Well, folks, when I chose this area initially to build the flower farm here, it was because we're right smack in the middle of a flower forest. And we've got plenty of allium growing and poppies and the azure bluette plus a variety of the different uh, tulips. We've got the orange ones, the purple ones, the red ones, and they're growing all over the bloody place. And I know for a fact that when I first built this thing, there was a bunch of tulips right kind of smack in the middle of the area where the top platform is. <clears throat> but if we go check the drop chest here, You'll see there is not a single tulip in there. It's all just the allium and peony. Why is there peonies in there? Oh, I must have just destroyed a couple when I was building it. The the bluets and the alliums and not a single tulip. So I'm guessing the tulips must not like to uh, grow when bone mealed. I suppose they must just uh, they must just grow on on like world generation in a flower forest and that's about it so we're pretty limited to what flowers we actually get here and uh, that kind of limits the colors we can have so in today's episode we are actually going to add on to the flower farm here and we are going to add some functionality to allow us to also grow but uh all the two high flowers um it might be kind of ridiculous to be growing the rose bushes as well as the poppies but whatever i might want rose bushes aplenty for some reason so we're just going to go with all four of them and uh set up a system to grow those guys and hopefully i'll be able to squeeze it into the redstone that's already existing under here and since i dug out the back side of this guy when we built it initially underneath here, this spot right here should be perfect because uh, we don't need very much space at all for for the two high flowers. So we'll just extend this wall out a little bit and encase the area underneath. So let's uh, go take a peek downstairs and see what kind of space we've got to work with here. Um, if I remember correctly, it's pretty much wide open in that back corner. So, ah, what the heck are you doing down here? Get wrecked bro i don't even have a sword on me and i'm out of arrows so let's just pickaxe him in the groin here we go get it get it get it and apparently i need to put some more light down here good to know <laughs> all right let's let's stick a torch there and oh maybe he maybe he popped in back here it's kind of dark in this corner there we go Hmm. All right. I'll worry about spamming light down here a little bit later. But let's see. We've got one, two, three gap back here. Okay, that's plenty. And it's pretty much wide open. All right. Well, let's get started on that and uh, start laying down some... Oh, let's start at the top. Let's lay down some dispensers and put the flowers in place. And then we can monkey around down here. Cool, cool. Well, first order of business, I need me some string so I can make me some bows so I can make me some dispensers. And right now I've got a, I'm down to a single lonely one piece of string. So I'm just going to run over to the bone tower, grab me some arrows, and then we will go a spider hunting. And uh, we've got that spider spawner out underneath the, uh, beside the uh the slime farm so i think we'll just pop into there knock down a couple of torches and try our luck at uh getting some string without getting killed yay and that definitely has to be a, a soon future project i think between between uh ne needing string aplenty and needing wood aplenty we definitely have to get a wood farm up and running and a string farm up and running lickety split here nah. Uh. There we go. Now let's go spider hunting. Man, I don't like the staircase. It's too it's too claustrophobic. You almost have to like just poof, slam your face into the wall the whole way around and you don't get to appreciate the view. So 
I might want to do some kind of a railing around this or something just to just to be able to appreciate it a little bit better. Any whoozle, off to the spider spawner. Ah, well, in the process of just building this little cubby here around the, I don't know if you can see it, the the spawner is just in the middle there, and it's just like a little three by three area to let them let them come in. Yeah, I I didn't realize I was naked. I forgot I didn't have any armor on, and uh, in the process of building this, I died. Yeah, and in the length of time it took me to get back over here, I lost some of my gear. Uh, my enchanted bow is gone, and I had already made a pair of bows, I think, to start making dispensers, and yeah, just a random assortment of crap, just some blocks and some string. String's not such a big deal, because that's why we're here in the first place. But it kind of sucks that that bow is gone. It, uh, yeah, it had... Oh, what the heck was it now? Was that an Unbreaking 3 bow, or... I don't even remember now. Anywho, we'll just smack these guys in the face for a bit, get us some string, and it's gonna take for stinking ever. Oh, I know. It's, why am I, why am I derping around punching in the face when I can just make myself a craptastic cobblestone sword? Yar, fear me. <laughs> there we go. And we'll collect up the string we're going to need to make those dispensers, and then we'll just head back to the old flower farm. Cool, cool. I will see you guys when I am done here. Actually, now that I've cracked it open to get the drops, I figured I'd just quick show you what I did here. It's just, yeah, a little 2 by 3 room, uh, some half slabs so they can't get out, and boom. In order to activate it, all you got to do is break that torch and you're good to go. It's uh, just a quick and dirty, yeah, eventually, eventually we'll get back over here and build us a proper spawning room and, like, grinding station so we can have a, have a proper string farm. But for the time being, that, that worked. That, uh, that only took me, like, heck, I don't know, less than five minutes to get uh, 11 string, and we only needed, I think, yeah, nine. So, yeah, we're, we're golden. We're sitting pretty. All right, now to get the heck out of here. Is it going to be quicker to just go through the... Yeah, let's just go through the... Let's just go through the slime farm. And... Uh, place that guy... Yeah, and one of the one of the unintentional uh, benefits to this particular design is I made the ceiling too low, so it's also a bit of a cactus farm. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna fix that in the future once I once I get the other half of this put in place. And you'll notice too that since we've got two slime chunks that are touching, our drops are pretty pathetic. We've got one slime ball here. And I think we've got maybe eight or nine in the, the redstone chest back at the house. And that is it. It, uh, yeah. So I'm really going to have to clear out that other chunk and do make it into a, uh, a, a double slime chunk spawner in order to get anything out of it. But once that's done, it should just pump slime like crazy. We'll have two full chunks just going like all the time. And... I'm actually going to dig them all the way up to the surface too, so we can get that uh, get their full drop rates, and uh, yeah, that's that's going to be a big project. I think I'm going to save that for for live streams or something, just because it's uh, it's going to be pretty time consuming. But uh, yeah, let's get back to the flower farm. What the hey? Just on my way back from the bone tower, getting a mess of bones to chuck some bone meal into the system, and we've got a hole in our wall. It's too small to have been a creeper blaster. And where's... Oh no! Did Mr... Mr. Grump got in there, I bet you. There he is. <laughs> no, let's leave that. Can we just quick plug that up with something? Oh, sure. Why not? Boom. I'm gonna quick pop in there and see what the heck is going on. Looks like Mr. Grump has got himself stuck in a one of the sheep pens, but that probably means that half the sheep are missing. Uh, yeah, he got in there and he ate himself a bunch of sheep. Naughty Mr. Grump. Naughty. 
Now if I open this to get in there, will he... He'll just go ransack those guys. He's killing him through the fence! Oh! Oh! That actually gives me an idea for a farm. <laughs> I wonder... Hmm... I wonder if you can breed sheep with just a... Like a dispenser feeding them. Hmm... Because if that's the case, you could just hang out here, kill and eat them, and then have a bunch of droppers underneath them. And have, like, a timed circuit that just spits wheat at them every once in a while. Okay, there's... Huh, I might have to do some experimenting in a, uh, in a creative world just to see if that is even a possibility. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. Okay, so the spacing we've got going underneath here, uh, we go back three blocks of space before the next wall. So let's just kind of mock that up a little bit so we know what kind of space we're dealing with underneath. And this is actually going to be really super wide, so that might, that might come in handy. I'm not sure how we're going to squeeze all the, uh, the redstone we're going to need into this little area. Because I want it to have the same kind of function where where the bone meal automatically gets uh, pumped into the dispensers, the same way as the uh, the rest of them do. Yeah, and for those of you who don't don't know, uh, the the plan here is uh, any of the two high flowers, if you simply bone meal them, basically clone themselves. If you just bone meal the plant, it'll just blah 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 spit out versions of itself all day long. So the plan is to have uh, uh, dispensers into the bottoms of a bunch of plants firing away and then just a hopper chain collecting them and putting them into the rest of the system. And hopefully there should be room underneath to squeeze all of that in there. Uh, probably would have been nice if I would have thought of that in the first place when we were first building this thing. <laughs> and actually made room for it. But when I was first building this, I thought I was going to be getting the tulips as well, and I didn't think that it would be too much of an issue getting all of the flowers I needed. So I'm just going to dig this down, clear out the whole stinking area, just so I know exactly where I can and cannot place stuff. So that's a goodly amount of space, but we're going to have to squeeze in the redstone to get the signal going and uh, dropper tower kind of item elevator things to refeed the dispensers plus a hopper chain to collect everything. Maybe I should start off by slapping down the collection system just so I know where everything needs to be headed. Alright, let's do that. I'm gonna uh, feed in this line and it's gotta go right through here. So at, at this height or down by one? Right at that height should be fine, I think. Okay. Place, city, place, crouchity, crouch. Get around this contraption. Ah! And fall in a hole. Awesome. And he's out of hoppers already. Oh, poop. Will that lock when this is on? Well, let's find out. If we put a couple of things in there, they don't move. Crum! Okay, we can't have it that close to this guy then. Poodoo. Well, that should be easy enough to fix. That just means we got to wrap it around this direction by one. Man, this is going to be a mess of hoppers down here. Plop, and then I should be able to take that straight back, which puts us pretty much on this line. There we go, hopper chain in place. And since we've already got a working contraption here with redstone already wired, I'm just going to steal the signal from these torch towers here to fire to the dispensers on this end of things. Uh, then I'll just only have to worry about squeezing in the item elevator to refill those dispensers, and that shouldn't be too much of an issue. 
So let's just worry about getting that put in place and we'll see what we got going on. And I don't have any dirt blocks on me. Derp. Okay, the dispenser's here. I think I want to leave at least one block of space all the way around it just to uh, prevent any of the drops, the, f the flowers popping off from landing on one of the other blocks. And that's going to be a wall, so that should be fine. So I think, well, how big of a gap is that between them? Maybe I'll go one more in, just for symmetry, even though I'm not even sure if this is going to be visible or not. Okay, so we're going to need a dispenser here. Boop. And one here. Beep. And come on, parkour master. Hey, hey, he didn't fall off that one time. There we go. And here's some of this junk out of the way. Okay, so we just need, I think, then... Yeah, that's... Wow, that's painless. Pow. That'll dispense. Huh. This seems too easy. <laughs> And that'll dispense. And that'll dispense. Well, now we need to stick dirt on top of each of those. Boop. Boop. Oh no, there, that's only three. We need four. Aha! That's okay. That's why this is being a little bit too easy. Um, yeah, let's, well, let's just change the spacing there. We'll push these two back, and I guess the one in the center will have to be slightly different. And this guy needs to be pushed back one. Now let's see if that's going to be correct spacing here. So he goes here, gap of two, and then here, and there's, oh, there's just a gap of one there. Hmm, poop. Poopity poop poop. Well... You know what? That's probably going to be good enough. Okay. And then we've got ourselves a peony, a rose bush, a where'd they hide on me? Lilac. And where's there it is? Sunflower. Boink. And boink. Cool, cool, cool. Hoo wee! One absolute mess of hoppers later. There we go. Now hopefully that doesn't turn this area into just a complete lag machine, but uh, eh, that was the easiest way to take care of it. Okay, let's pop down below and see what we're going to need to do in order to keep those hoppers, or hoppers, keep those dispensers full of bone meal. The line, right here. Ah, I keep falling in this hole. I should really put like a carpet or something above this. Actually, what if I, where's my... There's some slabbage. We'll stick a slab on there. Does that, that won't, shouldn't cut off the signal, should it? No, perfect. There we go. No more falling in. Sweet. Okay, now, what? <laughs> um, oh, and that hopper chain's right there, so I can't even have hoppers feeding into these guys, can I? Oh, no, they're above by one. We're good, we're good. So our bone line is this guy here. I could, ooh, and that's split evenly into two. I'm gonna need a third line somehow. Hmm. Now how to evenly distribute? Maybe I don't even have to concern myself with that if I just make sure I keep the system full of bone meal all the time. Well, that guy I could just dispense straight up into, as could that guy, and that, yeah. Let's just make dispenser towers like yo. So that means I'm gonna need dispensers like crazy. Oh, there's some, there's, there we go. There's me droppers, okay. Now I probably should have done some math while I was down there to figure out, well, I'm gonna need four lines and there are, what, five, six blocks tall? Snort. So I'm gonna need, what, 24 of the stinking things? Yeah, let's just build that many and see how far we get. 
because after all, I use these things pretty pretty regularly, so they'll, they'll get used in some future project, that's for certain. 30, good enough. Let's get started with that. And... Uh, oh good, there we go. And some stick action, because I'm going to need some redstone torches down here as well. Oh, and we should sleep, just so that we don't have a zombie issue. We don't need any more zomberts running around. We've already got these little flaming jerks over here. Okie doke. Well, you've seen the old dispenser towers, or dispenser dropper towers. I keep calling droppers dispensers. I do not know why. But you guys have seen the old dropper towers countless times already on this channel, so I won't bore you with the details. I'll just get those put into place and get this thing up and running. Okay, I have no idea if this will work or not, but I've had an idea. These are way too close together to be able to have a separate torch tower for each of them, unless I just dig out towards the back, but I think I might be able to, I don't know, I'm going to try and see if I can have one signal just kind of bounce back and forth between the two of these and have one signal run them both. How is this going to work? Now, if the torches are on the sides of that, I think that might work. Cool beans, yo. Okay, I'm just going to do that all the way up, and then I will give it a couple of test fires and see uh, see if this is a possibility. So we need one there. Let's put this torch on the side and then the side of this guy. And the side of this guy, and probably one more just to get this last one over here. Oh, and is that, that's defaulting to on, so that's going to lock that hopper. That's not cool. But if we just invert the signal down at the bottom by dropping it by one more. Boom. There we go. I think that's going to work. <laughs> cool beans, yo. So we just need a pulse of redstone going to here. And then we'll do the same on this side. We'll need a pulse there. And we can just steal that pulse from this line. Plop. Plop. Wow. This is actually going to be quite a bit easier than I was anticipating. I thought this was going to be a huge pain in the backside. Awesome. This is, uh, this is coming along nicely. So we'll just steal power like this. Cool. Okay, that should be all it needs. Now that should... Yeah. Cool. Let's go upstairs and see whether or not we've got some too high flowers popping off. And if we do, we know we're finished. The system is complete. And then I'll just stuff this full of bone meal and call it done. Well, and build up the wall around here. Now, it might take one or two cycles for it to actually get up to this point because the dispenser towers weren't completely filled up. Hmm, I don't see any action yet. Hmm. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's not quite going high enough, perhaps? I don't know. Let's go downstairs and check out what's going on on this end. Ugh. Yeah, that's definitely toggling the whole tower. Let's check this one. Yep. Okay, so got 50, 1, zippity doo -dah, 13. Oh, maybe I have to bring it up one higher. Yeah, I don't think it's actually... Uh. Maybe even two higher. Did I just not place all the torches on this guy? Let's nerd pull up there and take a peek. One there, one there. One there. That should be good. Oh! What the heck? 
43, zero. Yeah, that one goes. That one locks. And then this one should go when that one goes, yep. And then likewise at the very tip top, shouldn't it? Oh no, maybe... Oh, because I'm dispensing into the dirt block. I need to dispense into the side of the flower itself. Crap. Crap. I built the whole stinking thing wrong. Oh no. Man, that was... Wow, there's a huge derp moment. Good gravy. Okay, let's shut this thing off. And do a quick redesign on that back end. Ah, lame sauce. Oh, and totally just me not thinking about it properly either. Ah, bollocks. Okay. Well, hopefully that should be a quick, easy fix, though. Quick little test run before I put all the hoppers and junk into place. Oh, yeah. I think. I see the particle effects, but oh, there we go. There we've got some flowers breaking off. Cool, cool. Okay. Ah, that wasn't so bad. I just had to move everything back. Okay, now to get the hopper chain in place to scoop that all up, and we will call it finito. And done. Just walled it off to keep everything contained. And I think I should probably light it up a little bit down in here just to prevent it from getting filled with nasties. Why not? Right above each flower. Did that? Where did that place? No! Oops. Did I catch it? Oh, I've still got some. Okay. <laughs> here you go, Mr. Lilac. Sorry about that. Good enough. <laughs> and plop there we go actually there that's a little better awesome okay that's all filled in and i'm gonna just slap a bit of a roof on top of this sucker too just because i don't really have any need to go in there now that it's all set up i can just uh let it pump away so i'm just going to do something like that and kind of alternate oops a little bit just to just to allow some light in not that it needs it now that it's torched up just to just to make it look like it's allowing light in i guess if nothing else oh and i guess trapdoors will have the added bonus of if i do need to get down there for any reason i will be able to cool cool there we go and as the sun sets on another day in this world i will call this dunsky cool beans so, as always, if you like what you see, go ahead and smack that like button, and if you want to see more, go ahead and hit that round Bitsu icon to subscribe. Even if you just want to say hi, please go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!